Hi, my name is Desiree Thomas and I'm a Youth Services Librarian at Worthington Libraries. It is my honor to be able to share with you some titles that I hope that you all will enjoy. These titles are perfect for your rising sixth grader or your sixth grader that is about to go into seventh grade. Uh, these titles all have a mix of genres and they're simply really good reads. The first title that I would like to share with you is Rules of the Rough by Heidi Lang. Now, Jessie is 12 years old. Her dad just got a new job. And it's summertime, so she is being shipped off to stay the summer with her aunt and her cousin Anne. She used to be close to her cousin Anne until her cousin made friends with the local mean girl and cut Jessie out of everything. So what's a girl to do for the whole summer? Well, there is a neighborhood dog walker who is super grouchy. And Jessie decides she's going to be super persistent and she gets this dog walker to take her on as an apprentice. So she's learning the rules of the rough and how to be a good dog walker when this high tech, super specialized dog walker comes into the neighborhood. And Jessie is trying to figure out how to maintain her business and also how to make good friends. Uh, this is a good realistic fiction, fiction title. And again, that title is Rules of the Rough by Heidi Lang. The next title that I have for you is Black Brother, Black Brother by Jewel Parker Rhodes. Now, Dante has always gone to a school that is prestigious. However, a lot of the kids at the school don't look like him or like his brother. His brother, however, is fair skinned and they kind of make fun of Dante all the time. So there is a fencing student at Dante's school who is basically tormenting Dante all the time and gets Dante into trouble. And Dante decides the best way to get revenge is to learn the art of fencing so that he can use fencing to stop this bully's attacks. But he learns a lot more. He learns about friendship. He also learns about his own responsibilities and he learns about maintaining his own peace. It's a really good feel good story. The relationships are really wonderful. And it's a really good examination of what it's like to not be um, like everyone else in your school. Again, that title is Black Brother, Black Brother by Jewel Parker Rhodes. The next title that I have for you is Isaiah Dunn is My Hero. Now, Isaiah Dunn's father had created this wonderful world of notebooks, characters, and in this story, Isaiah Dunn is always a hero and he's doing these wonderful things, but his dad passes away and now Isaiah is the man of the house and he's trying to keep things together for his mom and his younger sister. But his mom is facing mental issues and a substance abuse problem, but he has good friends. His friend Sneaky always comes up with ideas sometimes good, sometimes not so good, to get them on the right path. And Isaiah finds a lot of comfort in the journals that his dad left. And he's using those journals to try to navigate his own home's instability. Again, that title is Isaiah Dunn is My Hero by Kelly J. Baptiste. The next title that I have for you is Me and Sam Sam Handle the Apocalypse by Susan Vaughn. Now, Jesse 
has a lot of things going on in her world. Her mother is stationed overseas and is actually a bomb detective and has a dog who sniffs out bombs so that they can demilitarize and clear up zones that the soldiers are going into. Her dad is a teacher at the high school and she is a student at the middle school. But into that mix, it's also the fact that Jesse also has autism. So the world looks and feels different to her and how she handles it is different. Well, someone steals money from her dad's school and the school authorities accuse her father of stealing it. And she knows that's not what happened. So she makes a new friend in this a student who recently came to the school and they decide to team up to figure out who stole the money. While they're conducting their investigation, however, a hurricane, tornado actually, comes into their community and rips everything asunder. So in the midst of that instability, sorry, Jesse is still trying to figure out how she and Sam Sam, who is her dog, and who she's trying to train to be a bomb sniffing dog, and her friend Springer are going to figure out who stole the money. Again, the title is Me and Sam Sam Handle the Apocalypse by Susan Baum. The final title that I have for you is, I think, one of my favorite titles in a long while. This is Becoming Muhammad Ali, is written by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. And you can tell who's doing the writing by the flow. So Kwame Alexander is a poet and an author. And as you know, James Patterson is an author. So James Patterson is the voice of Muhammad Ali's best friend when he was younger, Lucky. And Kwame Alexander is Muhammad Ali, who is of course the greatest. And so what you learn from the story is a little bit about Muhammad Ali's backstory, how he made the decisions he did. His training regimen was amazing. His intensity was amazing, but he also had this wonderful big heart. So um, it's just a really good, feel good story. It kind of makes me think of watching um, ESPN's behind, behind, I don't know if it's called behind the field, but you learn about his life and how he grew to become one of the greatest boxing phenoms in the world. Again, that title is Becoming Muhammad Ali by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. All of these titles are available to you through your local library. You can visit Worthington Libraries through our curbside appointment or by coming through Northwest Drive Up window. So simply reserve some of these titles and you'll be able to read them. And there are, some of them are also available on Overdrive or Hoopla, so we do have digital copies. We hope that you'll get some of these titles and that you'll enjoy them as much as we did. Thank you for listening.